Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on now. Prayer will get you through this. Oh, bless his name. No matter what you're facing this morning, Sister Jackie, no matter what we go through in life, Thank prayer. You. Yes, prayer. We'll get you through this. Sure. You talking to God, Sister Cassandra, and allowing God to talk to you. Yes, yes. And I just got a few little points I want to make. But number one, I was I, I was thinking about how when women are pregnant, how the doctor or the nurse talks them through until they deliver. Uh, Amen. 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 So the nurse Amen. may hold your hand, try to calm you down, or tell you to push. Amen? Yes, amen. They, they talk you through it and walk you through it, amen? Yes. Until you deliver. Right. Definitely. Or if you're getting your computer or cable fixed, the IT guy or the woman will take and walk you through it to get things working. Come on. I was recently in a hotel, and at the hotel, the TV went out. So I called the operator and said, the TV went out. I said, do I need to talk to someone? She said, no, I can help you. So she said, press this. Press that, press that button. In a few minutes, she said, now try it, and it came back on. All right. So I'm making a valid point yes. that, that, that uh, you need sometimes somebody to walk you through it. Prayer will get you through this. Thank you. We serve a God that when we're going through the challenges of life, if we keep our ears open, he will speak to us. Mm -hmm. He will lead us. He will guide us. And he will walk us and talk us through mm -hmm. the challenges of life. Yeah. No matter what you're facing, you got to know that you serve a God that hears and answers prayer. Yeah. That no matter what you face, that if you stay close to God, the Bible says if we draw close to God, he'll draw close to, to us. Amen. But we got to know today that we serve a, a live God, a God that speaks, a God that will drop things in your spirit to do. And that prayer, no matter what you go through, prayer will get you through this. Hallelujah. There's no battle that you go through, Will Jr., that prayer won't get you through. You right. can pray your way out. Amen. Pray your way out and say your way out. Amen? Amen. That he's the God that leads us. He guides us. He walks with us and talks with us through the challenges of life. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes, Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge it. How do I acknowledge him, Sister Doris? I acknowledge him when I pray. Yes. Amen. I acknowledge him when I talk to him. Amen. I acknowledge him when I listen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own natural reasoning. Yes. In all your ways, everything that you go about to do, in all your ways, acknowledge him. Talk to him about it. Right. God, should I do this? God, should I do that? Right. God, should I move? God, should I be stop? Should I be still? Should I be quiet? Should I call this one? In all your ways, acknowledge it. God, I don't know what to do. Lead me. Right, amen. Guide me. Send somebody to help me. Send help to the rescue. Yes, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In all my ways, I acknowledge his body, and he will direct my path. Yes, How many people have, have ever been in a rough place, in a hard place in life, and you didn't know what to do? Yes. But maybe God just dropped one person on your heart and said, call this person. Mm -hmm. Call that person. Hallelujah. You don't even know why you're calling. You say, you know what? I don't know why I'm calling you. I just felt like I should call you. And, and, and that there is your answer. Right. There is your breakthrough. There is your change. Amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. John 10, 4 and 5 says, My sheep know my voice, and the voice of the stranger they won't follow. It's just like mothers and fathers, more so mothers, because mothers are more sensitive. Their children are going to be playing amongst a whole group of kids, but they know their child's voice. They're like, that's my baby. I'm like, how you know that's your baby? All these people, you, you know your baby's voice. And as God's people, he wants us as his sheep. To know his voice. Oh, bless his name. Amen. And as I heard was taught last night, was that the first way, the, one of the best ways we know the voice of God is through his word. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to say one of the second ways to know his voice is just listening to that voice on the inside. That still, small voice. And sometimes that still, small voice is so sensitive and speaks so quickly and so softly but if you're not in tune, you'll miss it. It's just like, it's, I, I'm going to say it's like light as a feather. Come on. I can put a feather on you, and if I lay that feather on you the right way, you won't even feel that feather on you. And I'm trying to teach you that's just how intricate and small and detailed the voice of God is. Sometimes I'm in my car, and I'll be like, okay, God, who do you want me to call? Who should I call while I'm driving somewhere? He'll put different people on me to call. Call and check on this one. 
I called one person and they said, oh, she can't talk now. She's going to get a procedure. So I knew, okay, let me pray for this procedure. That's right. Amen. 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 He'll put people on your heart to call. And if God drops someone on your heart to call, take time to call them. Because if you don't, they'll beat you and call you. Right. You'll be like, I was just thinking about it. Don't say sometimes, don't wait till you wash the dishes, uh, fold the clothes, go around the corner to shop right. right before you do. Because you may miss God and forget. Uh-huh. Amen. But the sheep know his voice. So I want to encourage you this morning that no matter what you're facing, yes, no matter what you're going through, yes, prayer yes. will get you through this. Yes. You talking to God, mm -hmm. allowing God to talk to you, waiting in his presence, talking to other believers, keeping yourself built yes. up. Yes. Prayer will get you through yes. anything. Yes. When you have a challenging test, prayer will get you through it. Yes. When you got a lot of homework, Prayer will get you through it. Right. When the teacher gives you an unexpected test, you didn't know what's coming. Prayer will get you through it. Y'all right. not saying nothing. Amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. I'm through. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand of praise.